Hi everyone, it's Lauren Stark and welcome back to my channel. There's been no shortage of media headlines, clickbait videos with the doom and gloom of a looming housing market crash. But in today's video, I'm going to tell you what I am actually seeing here on the ground in Las Vegas, despite what others are saying. And you may be surprised. While it certainly has been a roller coaster of a market, what the media is forgetting is that you cannot lump or group all real estate markets into one sole category. So let's backtrack for a quick minute. 2022 started off really, really strong, and then the brakes hit, and we definitely saw a halt and slowdown in the market late April, early May. Interest rates went up extremely fast. More inventory came on the market, which actually was great news for buyers wanting to buy to be able to purchase a property without the crazy competition. And the media just absolutely pounced. I'm really not sure what everyone expected after two years of unsustainable levels of growth and appreciation. New home builders immediately adjusted first and started offering very attractive incentives. They lowered their inflated prices on homes and also lot premiums. And then we started seeing a correction of prices throughout the resale market, which really was to be expected after two years of complete craziness. We were seeing homes that I call me too houses where there's really nothing special about them. The lots are back to back, the finishes are mediocre, they really need some repairs, etc. obtain really frothy, frothy prices. All the appreciation that was gained really in early 2022 corrected itself and our median home price at the end of the year was the same as 2021 at 425,000. In the fourth quarter of 2022, most everyone I have spoken to respected colleagues who have been in the business for many years like myself and also new home sales agent, the market here was very, very slow. I think people were enjoying the holidays and really sitting back to observe to see how this market conditions were going to shake out. The buyers who did buy it during fourth quarter did great actually because they were able to pick a home they actually liked and not one they felt that they settled on. Uh, oftentimes the sellers paid closing costs, prices were much more reasonable, you can negotiate a little bit, and actually new home sales did see a spike in sales in October. What the media or people seem to forget is that Las Vegas and Nevada is a no state income tax state and in addition to no state income tax state, our property taxes are low. Homeowners insurance is very low. We have no inheritance or estate tax. We have no inventory tax on businesses. We have no gift tax and we have no corporate tax. Las Vegas, Nevada has a lot going for it. And in these inflationary times, Las Vegas is a great place in terms of quality of life and cost of living and homeownership. About a month ago, I did a video on all the great things to look forward to in Las Vegas in 2023. And wow, it is incredible. The amount of money and development being poured into our city. We are turning into the sports capital of the world. We're the entertainment capital of the world. And all one has to do is follow the money to see that if you are thinking about moving to Las Vegas and buying a piece of property, it is my opinion that you can pretty much throw a dart and hold on to whatever piece of property you buy. And in a decade, you will thank me. Here are the facts and what I'm actually seeing working in breathing real estate here in Las Vegas since the late 90s. Inventory is down and keeps very quietly dwindling. We are down to just under a three month supply again, which is really not a lot. Multiple offers are back. Yes, this is so crazy, but true. Let me give you three examples. All of this happened in the month of January. First, I had a listing in Tuscany that had been on the market since October with so-so traffic. In January, I received one, then two, then three offers, all within a two-day time frame. The sellers had the home price spot on and it sold for cash within 3% of list price. Number two example, I was working with buyers and this gorgeous single-story home in Henderson came on the market. It was about 2,600 square feet, had beautiful finishes on the inside. The outdoor pool and spa was amazing. 
awesome outdoor kitchen. It was listed for $721,000. My buyers recognized the value in this home as they had been shopping, so they immediately offered slightly over list price cash and ended up getting outbid by buyers who opted to get a conventional loan. They offered way above list price, according to the listing agent, and they also waived the appraisal contingency. I won't know the price that it exactly sold for until it closes, but I did know that they had a total of eight offers. Third example, there was a property that I had other buyers interested in, in a home located in the northwest part of town on a huge 35,000 square foot lot in a really nice gated community. This house was awesome. It was a single story, had some really nice updates and finishes inside, had a five car garage, a detached man cave or she shed, a pool, a detached 850 square foot guest house. It was listed for $970,000. Multiple offers received again and the listing finally said in all caps, no more showings. That's actually scheduled to close next week, so it'll be really interesting to see what it ended up selling for. Now, on the new home construction front, inventory is also dwindling as many buyers are and have taken advantage of lower prices and very attractive incentives. I went to a grand opening of a new home community called The Bluffs out at Lake Las Vegas. You can check out the chores on my channel. I'll post them for you in the link in the description box below. It was non-stop traffic, very, very busy. By the way, these homes are awesome. They're all single stories being built by Century Communities, priced from the low 500,000s and are really a fantastic opportunity to buy in first with very reasonable price points. Second, there is a luxury home community called Skyview by McDonald Highlands, which I just filmed the first model for you guys. I asked the sales rep when I was there, how are sales doing? She said they sold one in all of fourth quarter and come January, they sold four total. That is one a week of multi-million dollar homes. By the way, if you haven't seen that tour on my channel out, you must check it out. I'm going to also post that for you guys in the link in the description box below. These are some of the nicest modern luxury homes being built right now by Christopher Holmes. They have incredible, innovative, modern floor plans and just spectacular views. The piece of land upon which they sit are awesome. The luxury market. Here are the current stats on the luxury market as of filming this video, February 23rd. Right now, there are currently 78 homes under contract priced from one and a half million and up and 87 homes under contract from 1 million to one and a half million. Since January 1st, 50 homes priced from one and a half million and up have closed escrow. 60 homes have closed priced from 1 million to 1.5 million since January 1st. It's a very active market. Las Vegas continues to boom. I don't care what the media says. And in fact, I think the media and clickbait video headlines with doom and gloom for viewers are really doing buyers who want to buy but are scared or waiting for this looming or pending market crash a disservice, especially in the Las Vegas market in particular. I want to hear from you. What are you guys seeing in your market where you're from? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear as I keep up to date on many major real estate markets across the United States. And I'd be really curious to see what you guys are seeing in your market. I think buyers who were on the sidelines waiting got simply tired of waiting and came out to shop really all at the same time, it seems. And I also think that buyers had to adjust and get used to the new normal of the interest rate levels. The announcement that Mark Wahlberg is moving here with his family and wanting to bring the film business to Las Vegas was really great for the luxury market. And it's also looking like we might have a major league baseball team coming here very, very soon. Inventory levels are not spiking like many people thought, and many people who did buy during the pandemic and locked in at very low interest rates may not be selling their homes anytime soon unless they have to. It is a fact that Las Vegas is really running out of developable land, and I have mentioned this in many of my videos, and that will just continue to drive prices in addition to all the people continuing to relocate here for 
numerous reasons. Now, I don't have a crystal ball and you never know what will happen in this crazy world with the current socio-political environment. But at the end of the day, people still need places to live and real estate is a great hedge against inflation. I think these prices are going to be the new baseline for what we're going to see in the future. I wanted to bring you guys the real deal of what experienced agents like myself are actually seeing on the ground selling Las Vegas. Simple Economics 101 will say that if supply continues to drop and demand remains the same or increases, especially coming into the spring and summer selling season, we will start to see another increase in prices. If you are of the mindset that a crash is coming, then I hope this video gave you a different insight and perspective. My goal is to educate you and help you buy when it makes the most sense for you. Don't make your decision out of fear, fear of missing out, or the latest headline. But my best advice is the sooner the better. Las Vegas is a great place to live and your future self will thank you. If you'd like to schedule a time to talk about relocating to Las Vegas or Henderson, all my contact information is in the description box below. Well, I hope you found this video informative. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.